and welcome to another YouTube video with Aaron and Sarit. In this video, we're going to tell you how, two ways how, to lose weight fast. I don't think you're ready to talk this baby. I don't think you're ready to talk this baby. Because we like everything now. So we got to give it to you now. So we're going to be telling you number one way, number two way to lose weight fast. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I don't think they're ready. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready to talk this baby. I don't think you're ready to talk this baby. I don't think you're ready for this. My bad is too bootylicious for you, babe. Oh, all right, let's get into it, Sarit. So Callie said that today she wants to teach a little bit. So she did some really good work. Studying her notes. Studying her notes. She may have fallen asleep right before the beginning of this show and she might do it now. She might be falling asleep as we speak. Either way, let's get to it. So she's sleep teaching. Nick will tell you how to do that in the next video. If you're looking to lose weight fast, look no further. Look no further and let us tell you the truth. I will tell you that you're blind. Uh-oh. Doesn't sound good. I say to you because I love you. If you're trying to lose weight fast, then you're focusing on the wrong target. And guess what? Wrong target leads to the wrong result, always. Think about it. If you were to shoot a missile and you had the wrong target, wrong vector. Disaster. And if you're watching this video, this is probably not the first time that you've tried to lose weight either. So let, let me rephrase. This video is two surprising ways to lose weight fast. Because. Mm. We're gonna help them lose weight fast. Yeah. We, we are, are indeed we are. gonna deliver on our promise. We are. But, but you've gonna, been misled. But we're gonna tell you the truth first because you know what? If not, you are going to waste your efforts. You're gonna waste time and you're gonna waste energy when there is a better way. And shame on us when we know the way if we don't actually show you the way. Because good friends, will tell you the truth. Good friends will tell you when you got broccoli in your teeth. Good friends will tell you when your armpits stink and you need to put deodorant on. Good friends will tell you when you got toilet paper stuck to your shoe. So we are being good friends. There you go. How are you being a good friend? Drop it in the comments. <laughs> okay, surprising way to lose weight fast, number one. So first thing that you have to do, you have to accept the fact that if you're looking for fast, then your intention is in the wrong place. And the reason why this is important to share is because you are just going to go back to the same cycle that you're probably trying really hard to get away from. But here's the thing, it's probably the only thing that you know and it's the only thing that has worked. Now, the problem with that is that it worked until it didn't. And it doesn't matter if it worked, if there is the until it didn't, then on a universal level, it didn't. I want to share a story. Okay. I've tried to lose weight fast several times. If it worked, I wouldn't have had to try several times. Now, when I say if it worked, what I mean is my goal was not to lose weight to gain it back. So if your goal is not to lose weight to gain it back, let's stop trying fast and let's start trying for good. I would go on some kind of extreme calorie deficit thing that I prescribed to myself because I knew what I was supposed to do, even though I had never done it. <clears throat> and so every single time what happened was I would get wild cravings. I would get um, like obsessive about anything that I got to eat. I would 
um, feel just very, very restricted. It was not sustainable. And eventually, usually it didn't take long, I would just eat everything. So it really didn't even make any sense. Anything that I had tried to do fast, whether it was tons of cardio, limiting my food, taking some kind of like pill or something, every single time it, I just ended up getting the weight back. So, and I did that for years. So I wouldn't call that fast weight loss because I did it for years. So even if it took you five years to lose 30 pounds, but you lost the 30 pounds for good, that's faster than trying to lose 30 pounds for the next 10 years, right? And look, it might be hard to accept because it's not fancy. It's not a shiny object. It might not sound sexy, but that's the reality of it. However, if you were to follow step number two, then the results will come a lot faster than you think. Now. Before we get to that, I want to share a little bit of my story as well. I too used to do the same thing and something that, you know, like all those, you know, crash diets or, you know, like weight loss products. Um, and by the way, Shakes. we're talking about for the most part, there might be one or two out there that might actually be quality ones, but for the most part, most of the supplements out there are absolute garbage. So. That's just the truth. I'm going to call them out. The Optavias, the Isogenixes, the, just so you know, um, what else is there? Um, the Beachbody ones. Um, Shakeology. Shakeology. Mm -hmm. I've talked to so many people like, it tastes like chalk. I'm like, what do you think it's made of? Why don't you just crush up some sidewalk chalk in your Ninja blender, put a little peanut butter powder in it, and then put some almond milk in there and call it a peanut butter protein smash. chalk shake. Peanut butter smash. <laughs> like that? Anyways, so, you know, the long-term impact of such a thing that are not often discussed is that what it actually does over time is it does a couple of things. It crashes your metabolism, okay? So um, your resting metabolic rate drops, which is, the last thing that you want because that is literally like the currency of your metabolism okay you want to do if you want to lose weight not just today or next year but like if you want to be in great shape 10 years from now 20 years 20 years from now then everything that you need to focus on rather than just weight is actually your metabolism and if you're going out of your way to accidentally and unknowingly crash your metabolism, you're actually making it longer in the long run. And the reason why this is just such a massive industry is because by tricking you into those things, you become a lifelong consumer. Can I say something? Yeah. The reason I, the, I don't, I don't like to talk bad about anybody or things, but when somebody's a criminal, you deserve to know. If you're being tricked or fooled into something, you deserve to know. And it is my obligation and my duty to share with you when something is not just. And so if you've done the Optivias or Isogenixes or the Shakeologies or whatever those other ones are, like doesn't make you a bad person. You're doing what you think is the best thing. And I did the same thing, but I want to educate you to make sure that you're aware that they do more harm than good. So even if something works, if it's not something you can do forever, then it's not going to work forever. And if there's other kind of artificial sweeteners, chemicals, and things like that, then just make a different consideration maybe from a different perspective of is this really the best thing for me yeah so let's talk about that too you know like in the case that you're taking products that are just full of you know they may have claims to be good for you to be you know sugar free low fat whatever you know if it has any artificial ingredients that then what that does is it actually causes inflammation in your body okay and inflammation is the leading cause to weight gain, chronic disease, 
bloating and all of the things that you actually don't want. So, you know, like the packaging might seem fancy and the calories might seem good, but there is a bigger picture to that. that you know, you, you actually need to know about so that you can make the right decision. And then the other thing that, you know, like happens too when, you know, you keep on crashing your diets like over and over again is all you're doing is that you're actually making your thyroid less deficient. And that is why hypothyroidism... Less efficient. Yeah. Less efficient. Efficient. Not deficient. Efficient. Less, less efficient. Efficient. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so like crash diets are like one of the leading causes to hypothyroidism and eating, you know, like a highly artificial diet as well. Okay, and it's no wonder why autoimmune disease is on the rise these days, like with a lot of like even 30 year old women, because, you know, like, let's Things say- Things like what, Hashimoto's, PCOS. Yeah, so let's say if you were like Aaron or myself, and let's say, you know, like you had this thought, like even in your teenage years that, you know, you need to lose weight and you're not educated the right way, then you start doing these things and imagine by the time you're 30, you're 30, it's like you've been literally crashing your body for 15 years. This is why these things are happening like at an earlier and earlier and earlier stage. And yes, there is a bigger social problem to that, which we're going to talk about in probably like later YouTube videos. However, point being is, is that, you know, like if your main focus is let me try to lose, you know, these eight pounds as fast as I can in 10 days, in eight days, in four days, then guess what? All you're doing is you're manipulating your weight in a way that is actually going to crash your metabolism and is only going to make it harder in the long term. And you know what? Like the hard, like the hardest thing about what we teach is that it's hard to accept. Yeah. Once you accept it and you actually take the tools, everything becomes easy because it's not just what you do, it's how you do it. Because when you're crashing your gut and when you're going out of your way to starve yourself, your mood sucks, your energy is shit, you know, like your hair starts falling, um, you know. Out of your head. Yeah. <laughs> and your hair starts falling. So, so look, here, here's the deal. Like it's, it's taking away from the experience of your life when, it, you know, like if I'm just talking to the younger me who needed to hear this, the reason why you're doing this in the first place is to improve your life, but you're actually going out of your way to literally worsen your health and worsen your experience doing it. Wouldn't you like to know a way where you can have a better experience doing it and where not every day feels like, you know, you're literally just like crashing yourself into a wall by the time it's 11 a.m. And, you know, like you feel like you can't be social because, you know, like that restaurant like doesn't have, you know, like the perfect thing. And, you know, because you feel like I don't have great self-control. So like if I will see it, I want to eat the whole thing. Or if everybody's drinking, I can't not drink. I can't just be the one drinking water these kind of situations and don't feel bad and don't think you're doomed because not all is lost. These things can be made better. You can start to make improvements now and you can actually like reverse some of the things uh, if any of this has happened to you. So, I mean, we went down this rabbit hole of like, this is terrible. Do not get discouraged no. because the reason you're watching this video is for help. So let's give them then the next step yeah. surprising way number two to lose weight fast so let, let's talk about what you actually need to do we just talked about the avoid all right so let's talk about what to do now what you should do instead is you should focus on building momentum okay you can actually do it fast and in fact we've helped so many people thousands of people lose the weight fast by focusing on momentum and progress rather than a sprint. This is, if you want to do it right, because this is a journey, this is like running a marathon, okay? You can't run a marathon at a sprint pace, but what if we could show you a way where you could be trained to run a marathon, like a marathon runner and not like 
a person who's, you know, like gas is out at mile two. Right. And that's the power of momentum. It's like you're building stepping stones so that you can only go faster and get better as time goes on. And here's the thing that we know about as time goes on. Life is only going to get complex. What is the one thing that you've told yourself or maybe you've heard, you know, like other people tell you in the past when they started to lose weight and then they gained it all back? I fell off. Time is a multiplier for better or for worse. And if you're doing the right things, as time goes on, things will only get better. You will only become more prepared. Your habits will only be better and you will lose more weight. Now, if you're focusing on, let me cut time out of the equation, let me take away the multiplier. It's like expecting a tree to grow without giving it time. Like you can't make a seed go into, grow into a tree without giving it time. You know, that's just the law of nature. Like think about, you know, anything that is out in nature in order for it to turn from a, how do you call it? A cat catapult to a butterfly? A caterpillar? Caterpillar, right? To take a caterpillar and turn it into a butterfly, what, like, what does it need? Time, <clears throat> okay? To take a seed and grow it into, I don't know, a bush, it needs time to take a, you know, um, embryo, I think so, I'm, I think embryo is the right word, and turn it into a baby, you need time. So now, if it took you nine months to develop before you were ready to see planet Earth, what makes you think that, let's say, the 30 plus pounds that you gained you know, over the last couple of years are now going to be gone in 30 days because you told yourself that you have, you know, like a vacation or an event in 30 days that you have to be ready for. Sorry, yeah. it's because they've been told that they can. And can you? Yes, you can. You may have, but it might not and most likely won't get you to where you want to be long term. So. What a street is saying is focus on building momentum, focus on the actions that you're doing that are good for yourself and respectful to yourself. Things like getting more sleep, things like eating healthy meals and vegetables and things like moving your body. Those are the obvious ones that most people know about. Things like hydrating yourself, right? If you are focused on, I'm treating myself well, I'm respecting myself, and I'm focused on doing the actions that improve the quality of my life, not just to lose weight, the weight will be gone as a byproduct of those actions done consistently over time. Mm. So that concludes today's video. We hope that you enjoyed. If you did, like this video, subscribe to our channel if you're not already. And if you hit the little notification bell, you will also get notified when we drop a new video and you can absorb all the goodness. Last thing, we have a gift for you. If you look in the link or if you look in the description, there's a link down there that will send you to our five day free transformation kickstart challenge that is coming up on March 28th. We are starting March 28th. So if you're watching this video before then, March 28th, 2022, then you need to go now and you need to click that link and enroll, register yourself. We're gonna have five days of incredible, just you're gonna absorb so many things that we've learned from the mistakes that we've made on our journey, five different, very intentional and surprising ways that most gurus and fitness people and um, trainers and nutritionists don't really talk about, probably mostly because they don't know these things. Um, so click that link in the description below and we will see you there. Bye.